I had a patient this week remind me of um, the importance of glutathione and um, some of the issues regarding how to take it. Um, <clears throat> you can find glutathione uh, supplements in the, uh, on the internet. I wouldn't advise taking them though. Most people don't. Um, if you go back to my glutathione uh, video, um, I, I said this before and I said the, the best way to get glutathione is through vegetables. There's another way as well, this, and that's what this uh, patient uh, reminded me of. And again, thank goodness for patients because if I didn't have those, I'd, uh, I'd forget everything I ever learned and I wouldn't have learned anything that I have learned. Now, <clears throat> he asked me for a prescription for N-acetylcysteine. And I had to tell you, and I had to tell him, I said, I'm drawing a blank. I know I've never written a script for N-acetylcysteine, um, but gosh, it rings a bell. And um, let me look it up, and I will get back to you on what we need to do next. Um, yes, there's plenty of uh, N-acetylcysteine out there. Actually, the patient was at asking me for a script version. I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend taking the prescription version. The prescription version is two and a half milligrams uh, minimum. It has a significant uh, GI impact. It's, um, it's an irritant. Actually, as, you began, as uh, we began to talk about the vegetables that you get it from, the cruciate vegetables, uh, Brussels sprouts, things like that, you can get significant uh, GI irritation from them. In fact, um, I had a, a huge dish of um, Brussels sprout slaw the other night and, uh, my, and didn't have anything else, just that. I know that sounds kind of weird, and sometimes I am kind of weird. Uh, I did regret that that night, and uh, Janice will tell you she's regretted it as well. She's the one that suggested it. Um, mm -hmm. Why would she regret it? Again, a lot of sulfur in those meds. And we'll talk about sulfur a few times. Speaking of sulfur, sulfur is yellow. That's why I'm wearing uh, yellow today because we're going to be talking about N-acetylcysteine, glutathione, the mother of all an antioxidants, and um, what to do about it. So this patient had had a, um, a um, low glutathione level and, again, asked me for the script for N-acetylcysteine. I did some uh, investigation, talked with a pharmacist, uh, looked some things up, called him back and said, you know what, uh, you probably should just take N-acetylcysteine um, um, supplements. They tend to be about 600 milligrams. The uh, medications are 2.5 milligrams. The medications are given for um, things like asthma, uh, mucomist is uh, N-acetylcysteine. N-acetylcysteine is uh, actually made from cysteine, which comes from hair or feathers, um, and glutamate, and uh, glycine. We'll talk about that, I think maybe in the next video, not in this one. Um, <clears throat> N-acetylcysteine is actually broken down in a couple of ways to form glutathione. So that is one of the ways that you can assure that you're getting proper glutathione. Now, <clears throat> that actually took me back through um, memory lane, this whole discussion of N-acetylcysteine. I couldn't remember why until I started looking some things up, and then I remembered. Um, this is, this is not the West Admit Room at a Charity Hospital where I worked as an intern, but it's this very same type of environment. It's a triage, um, large triage area. This is for the military, but that's the way the West Admit Room looked when I uh, worked there at Charity. Uh, you may have an asthma patient over here in serious uh, condition. As you can see, there's teams around each of these patients. Um, that asthma patient may be taking mucormist, which is a mucolytic, mucolytic, uh, mucus lytic breakdown. So help that uh, patient break down mucus. This patient over here may be taking um, uh, N-acetylcysteine IV, 
because it's a it's a very strong antioxidant. Uh, when would they take that? For Tylenol or acetaminophen overdose. Um, <clears throat> so again, lots of uses for N-acetylcysteine. And um, that's where it rung that bell. So again, thank you, patient, for ringing my bell. So <clears throat> now if this seems like uh, we're jumping around. Yes, we are. A little bit. Mostly we're focusing on N-acetylcysteine, sulfur, glutathione, and we'll be talking in a few minutes about some of the metabolic um, activities associated with glutathione and, and N-acetylcysteine methylation antioxidant, antioxidant activities. So if you're not interested in those, probably now's a good time to travel elsewhere. Uh, go look at another video. Uh, but before we get into those, those of you who are remaining and, and still interested, uh, just a brief, brief introduction. My name is Ford Brewer. Um, I started off as an ER doc, uh, as one of the stories I just told. Uh, uh, at Char interned at Charity Hospital, went on to get some um, further experience in ER in Florida. Uh, got very frustrated with all of the death, disease, dis disability that was preventable that ER patients brought in. I uh, went to Hopkins to get some training, uh, ended up doing very well, loved prevention, ended up running the program in preventive medicine, um, and have been working with um, doctors, primary care docs, and uh, patients in preventive medicine uh, my whole career, over, over 30 years of being a corporate medical director with some uh, uh, staffs as large as 800 docs, focusing on the science of prevention. So back to the topic of um, acetylcysteine. So, and some of the molecular perspectives are, are not so much, this is not so much uh, molecular right now as it is um, uh, metabolic. <clears throat> Here's an acetylcysteine over here. It has to do with uh, prevention of membrane damage. Um, uh, antioxidizing some things over here, which actually came from um, some of the antioxidant enzymes over here. So I'm just going to touch on some of these. I'm not going to get into detail on the actual metabolic pathways, but the, really the bigger point behind this is to, um, again, focus on the point that N-acetylcysteine is sulfur containing. It is critical to the uh, antioxidant pathways. The antioxidant pathways include methylation, uh, some of the antioxidant enzymes over here, um, <clears throat> in includes selenium, which I believe has sulfur in it, glutathione, uh, big antioxidant, uh, riboflavin, um, Copper and zinc, again, are involved in this. Those of you who remember copper and zinc from um, the Dale Bredesen activities. Here's another uh, version on it. The reason I brought this one up was it mentioned uh, methylation. This, has, uh, this is an overview of the methylation pathways, and those of you who have Focused on those, remember that uh, homocysteine, cysteine, and again, down at the bottom, glutathione are all, all involved. This one starts with uh, methionine, uh, and it has to do with methylation of DNA, RNA, proteins, membranes, phospholipids, neurotransmitters. Over here on the left um, is a critical component as well. Those of you that um, remember M Motherfer, uh, testing, methyl tetrahydrofolate reductase, or THF. Um, <clears throat> there's a genetic test for that. Again, it has to do with methylation. Some people take uh, homocysteine. Some people take uh, uh, activated methylate, uh, methylation project, uh, products. Some take uh, some of the B, methylated B vitamins again, to focus on the methylation components, which are um, 
very much related to and in, in equilibrium with the uh, oxidation activities. Now, <clears throat> uh, John talked about getting, uh, John Lorscheider uh, did a video on uh, his experience with chelation. I've never chelated anybody. Uh, I don't think that chelation works for chronic diseases. I actually did have a patient chelated once, um, more, than, more than one patient. It was when I was working with a lead, an indoor lead outbreak. There was an indoor firing range instructor that worked for the state of Maryland. Um, he got mad as a hatter. Um, Usually, uh, mad as a header is due to, I think, um, maybe, is it mag? No, it's not magnesium poisoning. Mercury poisoning. Um, but this wasn't due to mercury poisoning. This was due to lead poisoning. And again, lead poisoning from the, uh, um, from the indoor uh, firing range. Those of you who do, indo uh, do fire uh, guns for sport, be careful about going into an indoor firing range, especially if you spend significant time because, again, uh, lead is a big problem. Why did I digress into that? Because of the comment about chelation. The only time I've chelated somebody had to do with lead. Um, there's a big uh, trend and focus. A lot of folks try to cure heart disease uh, with chelation because I think a lot of the... Um, uh, reason and focus has to do with the logic behind, well, there's calcium deposits, and if we can uh, chelate calcium and some of those other uh, bad minerals out, then we can decrease this problem. As John shared, his uh, experience with chelation was less than um, satisfactory. And um, again, that's why I don't use chelation for heart attack and uh, stroke prevention or anything related to that. Uh, see my other videos if you'd like to know what we do do for that. But I did want to, um, again, connect some dots. For the folks that uh, have had interest in chelation, again, N-acetylcysteine, IV, which we did use in another environment, as I mentioned earlier, uh, we used it to uh, um, for acetaminophen damage or Tylenol damage with Tylenol overdose. Um, it, it basically... Acetaminophen uh, uh, damages the uh, liver as the liver tries to detox that acetaminophen, um, and the um, liver can die, get su sustain significant damage due to being reduced or oxid excuse me oxidized. Um, and uh, N-acetylcysteine is a powerful antioxidant. We give it for that. Here are the two areas where uh, their chelation sites on uh, this carbon, uh, the carbon one in the in, in acetylcysteine, where it has a carboxyl group, carb, which is the carbon, oxyl, which is the oxalation, um, and the sulfhydryl. This sulfur is, sulfhydryl is sulfur and, sulfur and hydrogen, and the sulfur, uh, sulfhydryl group is another area where you have the chelation areas. Um, you get deacetylation over in this uh, other area. Again, we got a little bit geeky. I uh, appreciate the interest and uh, focus of you that have uh, continued to, to hang on. Um, thank you for your interest. <laughs>